Hi all, today we take a look at the higher order components which are commonly used in React due to its component based architecture. So by definition, higher order component is a function which takes a component as an input and returns a new component. To get a clear picture about the concept of higher order components, I have created a sample React app. So in this application, I am uh, using two components. One is the button component and the other is the link component. So both of these components share um, some common traits. So as you can see, uh, whenever the props of the component changes, I have added two logs which will display the previous value of the props and the current value of the props. And also when the component is mounted, I am adding a event listener for the click event and what this handler or uh, the callback handles is it will just log the reference of my element so in this case it's a button and in the case of the link component it will be the link so even though the components are different their behavior are quite similar as you can see uh, here in the link component also we are doing the same uh, functionality which we did in the button component now let us see the application so when I click the button uh, it is printing out the reference of the button and when I click the link it opens an external link and it again logs the reference of the element similarly whenever I change the props value of the button or the link it will be logging the changes in our console so you can see that uh, the previous value and the current value of the props has been logged. So in case we have multiple components which share this common behavior of logging and adding the click event listener, we can make use of a higher order component to share these behaviors across the components. So now let's create a higher order component. So for this I am creating a function enhance which will accept a component as a parameter and it will return another component. So I am using the class syntax for this component. So now we can move the common behavior which we had written for the uh, link and the button components. So I am moving these parts to here and uh, in the button component also I can remove the code and uh, since the reference is getting passed from outside I am changing it as props.myref in the uh, button and the link component So now this enhance function, uh, we need to return uh, the symbol component. So we add a render method and we have the render method here and we just pass the props which we receive from outside. Also, we add an extra prop called myref. So, this will contain the actual my reference from the higher order component. So, now our higher order component is ready. Now, we can uh, call the higher order component on our link component and add an export like this. Similarly, we can add the same in the button component. So uh, now 
we can import the default export here so I am giving it a name as ink wrapper and button wrapper component I will replace the tags here so now let's see the application so uh, now you can see that uh, our expected behavior is working like when I click the button and the link the element is getting displayed and in case I change any of the props I am receiving the logging part also we need to ensure that the higher order component is always pure it means that we should not modify the input component which is getting passed to the higher order component but we should always create a new component and add the behavior and return it. In this way, we will be able to chain together multiple higher order components and the order in which they are chained should not matter. So let us see this in action. So uh, I will create a second higher order component called a log enhancer. So in this, I will uh, remove all the uh, pro uh, type of behaviors which are related to the event listener and this will only have the log related code and I will remove the log related code from the enhancer so uh, I have created the new uh, higher order component now let us introduce our log enhance here I need to change the name here same thing I will add it in the button component as well and I am wrapping it so if you refresh our application you can see that uh, it still works as expected and uh, when I change the props also it should work Yeah, it's working uh, now even if I change the order of our uh, higher order components even then it should be working so in this case I have uh, reversed the order of calling the higher order components so when I click the link uh, it is still working Hope you were able to get a good understanding about the concept of higher order components in React. See you soon. Thank you.